Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a picture-in-picture -picture video using Movie Edit Pro 2022. Okay, so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got these two video clips that are downloaded from the Pexels website. I'll put links to those in the YouTube description so you can download them as well. Let's open up Movie Edit Pro and let's go to File, New and we're going to create a new project with the default settings and we'll drag these video clips onto the timeline here. And what we want to do is um, stack these video clips correctly. So this one is the car rolling and when we move over to this video clip it's just standing still in the background. So we want to use this as the background image and then use Movie Edit Pro to position that other video clip in the corner for example. That would be like a picture in picture. So if we drag this one down and then drag this one across and let's just drag this handle here so the video clips match in duration as an example. And we can just scrub over here and we'll see the car rolling across the road but the image in the background we can't see it right this one here so if you were to mute this or turn this off you can see the one in the background there right so remember the the top layer is actually the bottom layer in movie edit pro so this is actually a layer sitting on top this one sitting on the second uh, part of the timeline so let's click on that and let's go to templates and we, there's an option in movie edit pro premium there's an option to select picture in picture and you can click on one of these or you can click on the arrow so if you click play it will show you a preview of where that position of the video clip will be or you can click it down here or here you can select any of these and let's say this top corner over here and once you're happy with it click on the arrow and it will apply it to that particular video clip right so here you can see um, the picture in picture working right so you've got the video in the background and you've got this car rolling uh, across the top up here but what if you wanted to make it a bit smaller or you wanted to adjust it or you wanted a little gap around the edge or do something a bit different then these options here are quite i'm not saying they're limited but they are what they are right they're templates but there's a manual way to do this so if i press um control z to undo or you can just delete this video clip the one at the bottom you can go back to move edit pro and you can drag it back again onto the timeline so you've got a fresh copy and then we can um let's see let's we didn't want both of them let's get rid of this one and we can drag this handle back to match again the durations and we're back to where we was at the beginning but let's do this a manual way where we can have a bit more control over where the position of the video clip is and the size of it so let's click on the video clip at the bottom let's go to effects and inside effects i'm going to click size and position here and i'm going to click apply effect and then i can just left click with my mouse and drag down Right, and make sure combine input fields is selected and that will make sure it's constrained and once you see the video clip at a certain size then you can start to just click on it and drag it and you can click the handles and drag it and make it smaller and in this example I wanted to try and leave a little gap around the edge like a little gap around this edge and you can't do that with the templates right they are what they are there is there are templates that leave gaps as well but this way with the um, size and positioning tool you're going to be a lot more accurate right so you can see like you can change the vertical you can be very very specific and very accurate with your content now you can see the video clip like this i think it looks a bit better where there's a sort of a gap around the edge or you can position it over here if you want now you can see you can be very very specific with the position and the size and you could have had like multiple video clips you could add one here another one next to it as an example uh, we could uh, let's try and um, copy this and paste it so now we've got two of them right exactly in the same position but now we can um, let's just move here we can click on this one and we can just drag it all the way to the opposite side like this and then we could even go over here and then in the y-axis we could set it to something like uh, 180 so we flip it now you've got two video clips on opposite sides in similar positions and you can see now when we click play you have them rolling sort of uh, in opposite directions right so you can be a bit more creative when you're controlling the picture in picture using the size and position and it could have been one two three four you could probably fit four or five you know an extra two more clips in the middle or maybe three you could have a whole row of clips of different uh, angles of this particular car so if you was at a car show or you like to film cars or you're filming your own car 
or even if you're doing um, like a commentary on a computer game. So you know on YouTube a lot of people do um, sort of um, demos of games or they're playing games and you see like a little picture of the person in the bottom hand corner. This is how you do that, right? So you can position yourself as a little video camera in the corner and you could be playing the game in the background but you're talking here in the corner. So that's how it's done. That's how you go about um, creating picture-in-picture -picture video content using Movie Edit Pro Premium 2022. So I've shown you two different techniques, one with a template and then one with uh, manual editing, which I believe is more accurate. So let's go ahead and click File, Save, and let's save this work so we don't lose it. Let's go to my desktop, Picture-in-Picture. Picture. Let's call this Picture-in-Picture Picture and save it. Let's go ahead and close the... Movie Edit Pro, and you've got the original make file here so you can open this and edit the content again later if necessary. So I'll be making lots more Movie Edit Pro 2022 tutorials, so don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can access over 750 free video tutorials on a wide range of subjects. That's the end of this video tutorial, hopefully you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.